Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make custom git commands in two different ways. Uh, one via aliases, which I guess aren't true commands, uh, and then another by executable scripts. And I'm going to show you an example of one of the custom git commands that I used myself. Uh, anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so I guess to get started, we're just going to make some sort of repo. Yeah, sir. Sure, we'll make we'll make a repo. Uh, so the first type of commands is is the very simplest ones that you can have, and those are aliases. And in order to do that, uh, you can either do get you can run the git config command to add the alias, or what I prefer to do is just edit the uh, git config directly. You can see I already have a few aliases here, and uh, they're a bit silly. They're mostly just typos right now. So if I typo git commit. Um, uh, -m -boo or whatever. Uh, you can see this works even though get commit with one M is not a command. I also have this one, which I've done another video about. I will link that in the description. Uh, that lets me um, accidentally run git git as many times as I accidentally do it, and it'll always resolve to the last command here. And again, this is another type of here. Um, but you can add whatever commands you want here. So uh, say we wanted to add a C command, which is just an alias to commit. And then you can do git C. Um, oops. And this is just a simple shortcut for git commit. And you you know might might do something else similar. Uh, or maybe you want um, a different alias that runs a command until you'll put um, you'll put a bang in front of it, and this will run whatever shell command that you want. So now if I do git wat, you'll see it'll print wat. And if we do wat, 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 we'll get a bunch of wats here. Um, so that's that's kind of the most basic git commands you can have via aliases. Uh, but they're not super powerful. Like you can't really set up you know, your own custom help or take arguments or do specific you know, logic in them. Uh, aliases are mostly intent intended for very, very simple things. And if you want to do more complicated things, you can set up custom git executables. And the way those work is uh, the same way that a lot of um, <laughs> git commands actually work is that they are just git da uh, commands that start with git dash and our other commands here. So you can see these are all custom git commands. So like git shell, for instance, is git space shell. Uh, and it's just going to run that git dash shell program here. I don't know what git shell does, but <laughs> that's, that's what this one is here. And I've actually created a couple custom commands myself, and you can see them here. So I have git happy merge, git github url, git github fork, and git github compare. And I use these to do custom uh, GitHub actions. So if we were to clone, um, I don't know, PyCQA slash flake eight, for instance, uh, not CD, what am I doing? <laughs> there we go. And if I do git GitHub URL here, you can see that it spits out the GitHub URL. This is a custom command that I wrote. Uh, git GitHub fork, for instance, is a command which automatically forks this repository for me and sets up the git remote for me. So you can see that it's added my, my fork here. Um, and I have a bunch of commands like that. And the way that I've set these up is I have special executables that I put inside my bin directory and put them onto path. So you can see my path here includes my, my home directory and my bin. Um, I'm actually just gonna make a special bin directory here and show you what that looks like. So if we make their bin and if we edit bin slash git hello world, for instance. And we do echo hello, hello world. Just a very simple shell script here. We make that executable. And we put this onto our path, export path equals bin path. So now if we do which git uh, hello world, you can see that we have this on our path. And so now if we do get hello world with a space, it's actually gonna run our command for us. And this is kind of a clever behavior that git does where uh, if it doesn't find a built-in command, it will try and look it up as git dash hello world. And it basically allows you to extend git in whatever way that you want. And so of course we could you know, add more behaviors to this, like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we did one. Uh, then you could do get hello world and it tab completes too, which is also kind of cool. Um, you put a name in here now, so now it'll say 
hello hello anthony oh there's a typo there <laughs> uh should have two l's there that's how you spell hello uh but anyway this is how you can make your own custom git commands as well as some examples of what i have there so to summarize everything uh simple things you can put into aliases more complicated things you can make your own executables that are on your path and git will resolve them for you um kind of magically Anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.